Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into Otram's YouTube channel. Uh, sorry for the extended absence. We're going to try to get back into shooting more how-to videos. Um, I've got to do a valve body and trans fluid change on my truck today, so I figured I'd do a quick video on how to change the trans fluid on an 80 series, um, and then I'll do another on the actual valve body change. Uh, so let's get into it. So we're here under the truck. Um, this one's your drain plug for your transmission. I've got my trans cross member off right now. You don't need to do that. Um, mine's just off because in addition to doing the valve body swap and everything, I'm also doing a new skid plate. So everything's out of the way, it makes for a clearer video. Um, but anyway, draining's real easy. 14 millimeter bolt right here. And we just loosen this up. and drain our fluid. Um, <laughs> you're gonna wanna let the fluid drain for a long time because otherwise it just doesn't all get out and if you're going further and taking the pan off, it's going to dump a crazy amount of fluid on you. So let it sit there and drain for a while. Uh, once this is done draining, I'll come back and we'll go further. Okay, so we're back up on top of the truck. Um, I let it drain for a good long while to make sure all the fluid uh, drained out. Uh, and I put the fill plug back in and I forgot to film it. I put the truck back on the ground uh, before I put the fill plug in, not thinking, and couldn't get a good camera angle uh, underneath to film putting it back in on the ground. But anyway, you just put the fill plug back in the drain pan with a new uh, aluminum crush washer to make sure it seals well. Um, and tighten it up. And then to fill it up, you just take your trans dipstick and it's kind of buried down here. It's the, the one with the orangish brown handle. You pull that out um, and you won't have this in your way like mine does. And then you need a funnel with a uh, small tip on it that will fit into your filler neck, or not, yeah, well, your, your dipstick tube. Um, you want a good, good fit in there and uh, make sure it's clean. I sprayed this one out uh, beforehand. And we're gonna start putting fluid in. And normally you'd be using DEX-3 I'm playing with a different transmission fluid on mine, uh, so don't follow my jug. Um, and for initial fill back up, I'm going to start with a gallon, and you've got to feed this in pretty slow, because otherwise it'll spill out from the dipstick tube, and you'll likely get some dribbling out there anyway, even if you go slow. I like to put a little in. Look underneath to make sure nothing's going on the ground because I have forgotten to put the drain plug back in before and started filling it up and then you hear the trans fluid raining. Uh, so yeah, you'll, you'll fill it up like this a couple go rounds uh, until you get a gallon in it. And after you've got a gallon in it, you start the truck up and I'm not going to start it up because I've got the truck in the shop with all the doors closed so I can shoot a video. Um, but you need to check the fluid level with the truck running in park or neutral. And then on the dipstick, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on the video, there's a cold section and a hot section. It seems more accurate if you check it to the hot marks. Um, so what I'll do is I'll fill it up with the engine running in park until I'm in the cold range. And then I'll go, you know, take the truck for a few laps around the block um, until the engine gets up to temp. And you'll see the trans fluid start to creep up. And I like to, you know, fill it up until it's in the hot range. Uh, you just need to be careful because if you put too much in while the trans fluid is still cold, when it actually heats up, you'll come way higher up the stick. So 
you, you're going to want to do it in small increments. Fill it, take it for a drive, check it, take it for a drive, because as you go through the gears and disperse the fluid through the coolers and the torque converter and all that, it's going to change your level. And it usually takes us a couple spins around the block to get a consistent level. Um, but yeah, so I just keep going back and forth on that until the engine's hot and I'm in the middle of the hot range. So there's the quick and dirty on changing the trans fluid on an 80 series. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment down below. Uh, if you found this useful, uh, please subscribe and like the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.